Local family hopes Governor Cuomo will sign a law banning the sale of used cars if the airbags are missing or don't work. And their effort is partly because the bill honors their son, but mostly because they believe it will save lives. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. His picture is on mom's pendant and on dad's tie. And now his name is on a bill sitting on the governor's desk. Anthony Amoros died in 2013 at age 18 after crashing his recently purchased used car on a windy stretch of Fields Mount Ivy Road in Rockland County. His family says Amoros had no idea the airbag had been removed. He assumed there was an airbag in there. Uh, and of course, uh, sadly and tragically, he learned that, that there wasn't. At time of, of the accident. When the family began working with legislators, the idea was to craft a bill requiring used car dealers to simply disclose to buyers if the airbag was missing or not functioning. Sometimes they're not replaced after deployment or have been stolen. Eventually, advocates decided it would be simpler and safer to just add airbags to the list of required equipment in used vehicles, such as seatbelts. You have to have rear view mirrors, so things like that. So at the end of the day, what we did statutorily was add airbags to those, that regulatory section. Assemblyman Kenneth Zabrowski Jr. says just as the industry opposed the original 1990s mandate requiring airbags in all passenger vehicles, it opposed this bill too. But it passed the legislature easily, and now, after years of effort, only needs the governor's signature to become law. Great accomplishments like this airbag law are performed not by strength but by determination the family says of all the ways it has honored anthony this law is the one that matters most in rockland county tony aiello cbs 2 news well the governor's office reviews all legislation before deciding whether to sign it into law it did not respond when we asked if governor cuomo would be signing anthony's law